okay that's nice let's start so now topic is signs and symbols as i told you these are the signs so we will see something more about it uses of letters like t for tank in bold letters and italics for cities are done on a map uh, colors are used various colors and shades are used to give different dimension to the land and to help us to understand like for blue water bodies uh, blue is used yellow for and green and brown is also used they are used for landforms symbols are used to give uh, us a meaning like for temples places of worship these symbols are something which is more or less similar to be used lines counter lines are used uh, lines of equal value can be used to denote height and places or temperature so the counter lines isotherms this experience similar temperature so lines are drawn other signs and symbols can be created to give special uh leave for understanding they are used when we make sketches or plans so example of map is given below here see signs like temples mosques bus stand post office is written this is road plantation these are housing so people living these are their symbols so such symbols are used for drawing a map ps for police station these are petrol pumps next is key and legends these are also essential parts of map it helps us to interpret the map correctly they are mostly placed on the bottom the right side of uh, or left side of the map to help us whatever color symbols are used they are written on the left side of the map and what is it for is written that will that helps us to read the map large scale and small scale maps there are two types of maps small scale maps a uh, small amount of details are found over a wide area where such as the world where the large scale map shows a large amount of details about a limited area such as neighboring hills and towns this is the difference between large scale and small scale large scale are used for to give us uh, enlarged maps of small towns and cities small scales reduce in size shows countries and continents large scales gives as more details since they are they show as the minute details of a place small scales are more useful for giving broad views about a large area large scale maps are considered to be uh, anything greater than 1 is to 70 uh, 1000 to 1 is to 4 lakh while as small scale one is to 4 lakh to 10000 10 lakhs what is scale scale as rough drawing of an area it is drawn to a scale and is created on the basis of the observation that we have done on our memory uh, most of the time sketches are drawn to serve an immediate purpose with the help of a rough sketch we can find out a place okay for instance i have to go to my friend's house i draw a rough sketch how can i reach there from my house so these are known as sketches plans plans are fairly accurate drawing that shows detailed features of small areas or a building it helps us to learn about the correct location of things on the ground uh, only limited purpose as they cannot show all the details so plans serves us for a limited purpose 
They are made according to the measurement taken on the ground. Next. Here is the difference between maps, plan and sketch. You will learn it uh, for your benefit. Diagram representing physical features. Maps are associated with geography, uh, which is a study of land, physical feature, emittance, and pheno pheno phenomena of the earth. Maps proves to be a very important tool when it comes for study about the geographical fact of a country or a place. Certain symbols and diagrams are used to give a better geographic understanding for the prevailing nature of that environment. In terms of uh, clarity, a map diagram should have a uh, notation. What is notation? It is a note by way to explain, uh, of explanation or command added to the text or diagram. For instance, rivers. River is a natural flow of water or term of water which pours through the land and goes into the sea. So, here a river is run. Here, mender. What is mender? Mender is the winding curve. See, here curves are done. So, those are known as mender in the course of the river. And those are known as menders. Distributaries. Distributaries are, if this is the river, the one that is uh, main river, the one that is coming out from it is known as distributaries. A distributary is a newly created stream channel resulting from the division of a large. This is a large land channel. From that, small channels have come out. This is known as distributaries, but they are joined to this large scale um, channel. Anticline, it is an unfold of rocks resulting into compressive stretch on the earth's crust. <coughs> Slickline, so this is anticline. Here and this is nickline. Uh, nickline are downfold of rocks resulting from compressive stretch on the earth's crust. What is tributaries? These are small stream rivers which join with large rivers. Example Yamuna is a tributary of River Ganga. These are this is the main river and the one coming and joining is uh, tributary. Okay. Delta. Delta is a low-laying area that is found near the mouth. Here the mouth of the river is ending and coming to the sea. Here the landforms that are formed, uh, triangular landforms that are found at the mouth of the river uh, where deposits of aluminum is done is known as delta. Delta is an accumulation of river bond statements, uh, sediments at the mouth of the river or a sea lake. The biggest delta example is Sundarban Delta, that is low-laying land of uh, of West Beng Bay of Bengal. So, this is physical feature that are shown and read in on a map.